We are tracking the tropics tonight. There are three waves worth watching, one that might affect our weather. Meteorologist Dave Warren joins us with the very latest. Dave. Yes, been watching this here the last 24 hours, and uh, slow development is expected. Now, one thing you can see here from yesterday's has grown in size a bit. It's moving towards the Bahamas here, and these are the showers and storms associated with a trough of low pressure that continues uh, to move off to the west. This is the picture with the visible satellite here, and the National Hurricane Center has been keeping an eye on this. Look at the infrared satellite picture. The area has grown a bit, and as it continues to move west northwest over the next 48 hours, just a very low chance of development. But by the time it gets here, just passing by the area here and moving into the Gulf, that is up to 30%. Still low on that potential scale, uh, but we could see it impacting the area with a bit, good bit of moisture, regardless on if it develops or not. Very dry air in place here today and yesterday, but the moisture begins to move in. That is Thursday morning. So throughout the day Thursday, you'll see the clouds increasing. The showers increasing and then the storms are here by Friday. Uh, these could be gusty storms if they do go over the same area with very heavy rain that could lead to a flooding problem. But again, the ground is pretty dry, so we need a good bit of rain for that. It begins to move through the Gulf by Sunday and that moisture kind of tails back uh, with it. So we'll keep those showers and storms in the forecast. Sunny but breezy uh, they're both today, tomorrow and Thursday morning. They uh, really start to see those downpours coming in Friday and Saturday. Gusty wind in and around those showers. A little more activity in the tropics I'll look at with the extended forecast when I come back. Dave, thank you so much.